Okay, folks, so today we're going to look at uh, how to install a basic Ubuntu server and install a Nextcloud on it and possibly even we can that dashboard as well for those Kanban boards. So uh, the idea here is you're at home, maybe you have a spare PC and you want to set up Nextcloud and maybe we can dashboard on it. So let's uh, take a look. So uh, I've downloaded the latest Ubuntu uh, server, uh, LTS 2204 edition, and we're going to uh, go install Ubuntu server. We're going to let it run through this portion. Okay, so in my case, I'm going to choose English. I'm going to actually choose continue update to the new installer. I just like that, so it pulls down the new installer from the repos. Uh, while we install it. You don't have to do that. You can continue without doing it. Um, it's just something I like to do. Okay, my lad is English US. Variant is English US, done. Uh, I'm gonna choose for additional third parties. This is generally good if your piece of equipment needs additional third party drivers. They might not be uh, open source, but sometimes you need those proprietary drivers to actually have stuff that works. I'm gonna install the standard Ubuntu server here. Uh, that just makes it uh, even easier. So I'm going to say done. In my case, uh, I'm just going to use DHCP. In your environment, you would actually most likely go and give this a static IP address uh, by going to this portion and saying edit IP4. And you would then go uh, to manual and you would enter in what your subnet address and gateway, whatever that is. In my case, I'm leaving this on DHCP. So I'm going to leave mine um, as the default IP. I'm going to go to done. We don't need a proxy, so I'm going to say done. And of course, now it's just busy testing uh, the local mirror to make sure it's up and running. Okay, so we can just hit done here. Uh, I'm going to use the entire disk. I'll let it set it up as an LVN group. That's okay. We're not going to make any changes. I'm going to hit done here. And that's all right. Let it automatically reallocate all your resources, home setup. Uh, if you're not dual booting or doing anything else, this is all right to do as default. If that is done, it's telling us if we do this, it's going to start installing and I'm writing anything that's on the disk. That's okay. Your name, well, my case, gosh. My service name, I'm just going to call it Ubuntu SRV1 for Ubuntu Server 1. Uh, gosh. Done. I'm not going to add it as an Ubuntu Pro for now. I'm going to say continue. I'm going to enable SSH server. So that is so I can remote connect to it from a different machine using SSH. That's generally uh, the better way of, of uh, connecting to it. If you uh, are going to only be working straight on it and you're not going to be SSH into it, you can leave that unticked. In my case, I'm going to use SSH and hit continue, continue again. Now it's at this point we could go and add all of the uh, the applications that we wanted, but for now I'm going to skip this step and I'm just going to say done and let it run. And we'll be back once it's uh, installed. Okay, it's uh, gotten the updates, it's done what it's needed to do. We're going to do reboot now. Okay, we're on the server, so let's log in. Use my username, gosh, our password, and we are logged in, and it has the IP address of on my local network 192.168.68.67. Okay, so what am I going to do now? Well, let's start by installing Nextcloud. I know a lot of people don't always necessarily like um, snaps, but let's do sudo snap install next. Now, Snaps makes it incredibly easy to install some server software on the Ubuntu server. Give it some time here with the step, just applying all its security profiles. And remember the idea of this is you using Nextcloud on your own local network at home. You're not having it accessible while you're on the road or offsite. 
Hence, we're not going to go through all the additional security side of it. This is just literally at home. Uh, you don't have port forwarding or anything enabled, just a spare machine that you are using xCloud with. Okay, so this portion is done. So let's get into the next portion. Okay, so what we're going to do is in our browser, we're going to go to the IP address uh, 192.168.68.67. Go to this IP address. And of course, this is uh, a NextCloud interface. So we're going to choose a username for installation and a password. Gonna say install, and it's gonna take a couple of minutes to complete this portion. Okay, so when it completes that portion, it'll give you the option to log in. In my case, uh, I've logged in, and once you've done that, it's gonna bring you to the hub. And of course, here you've got a default installation of NextCloud where you can see we can open up some files, we can upload files, uh, we can download files, etc. So that's the uh, next cloud portion uh, set up on our, on our local environment. How do we do the next portion of our video? Yeah, so we're back on our Ubuntu server. We've already got uh, next cloud installed so now we're going to do we can so i'm going to do sudo snap install we can give it a couple of moments to install and then we also configure it okay now we need to configure it so we're going to do sudo snap set we can root dash url is equal to http and of course, this will be your server IP. So in our case, it's going to be 192.168.68.67. Close it. Okay, so now it's configuring it. Okay, now we need to set the port that it uh, connects on. Because also remember, we have on the same machine next class. So we don't want anything to clash. So we're going to do sudo snap set we can port is equal to 3001 i just chose 3001 uh this is an uncommon port i'm going to hit enter now we need to do sudo system ctl start snap dot we can dot MongoDB and sudo systemctl restart snap dot we can dot we can and now let's see if it's uh, doing what it needs to do correctly so we're going to see if it's listening on that service so we're going to do sudo ss dash Tunnel P, type that to web 3001. So basically here we asking the machine, hey, uh, show me uh, what uh, services you've configured to be using 3001 on this local machine, which sudo snap enable you can. Okay, so read enabled, sudo snap refresh making sure it's all up to date. Okay, that's done. So now let's go back to the browser. Now, in our browser, you'll see we've gone to that address, 68.67.3001, right? So I'll image you again. We go to this address and automatically gets to sign in. And of course we have to uh, log in for the very first time which of course in our case is we just need to register so i'll just create an account i'm just creating a fake email address uh putting in a strong password click register ah minimum six selectors okay no problem register and here you go 
we have we can install from our machine as well as we still have if we go here our next cloud running all running together on our ubuntu server ready to use easily out of the box so folks hope you enjoyed this video hope it was helpful leave your comments below and if you have any questions let us know as always bye for now mm -hmm.